What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So this is my brand new 2021 Ford Ranger XLT Sport. Um, I posted a picture on my Instagram, got quite an overwhelming response. So we're going to do a little walk around today. Just tell you guys what I think about it, um, what I like, and what I dislike. I don't really think I dislike anything right now. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, this is the 2021 Ford Ranger XLT Sport. With the Sport package, you get the painted wheels, you get the sidestep rails, you get the matching painted bumper that matches the grill and then also matches the rear bumper um so i think it looks really clean i originally was going to go with the xl and i'm very happy that i went with the xlt instead so i bought this brand new just yesterday um, with i believe 12 miles on it so this right here is the interior of the passenger side um everything is cloth premium cloth uh, you got the nice little Ranger emblem right there. Um, so let's go to the back seat real quick. Back seat's very spacious. We took everything out um, just to show you guys the interior of it. Plenty of room in there. I took the headrest out and I actually stuck them underneath the seat because there's storage in there and it gives me a better view of everything behind me. So you can pop this right here, which allows you to fold this all the way down. You have some storage space back there as well. All right, so on the other side, you also have a little latch right here. Pop this up and the whole seat folds up and you have storage in here as well. So you have some storage here. I have the headrest sitting in there just so they are available in case I need them. Um, I'm gonna be towing like, uh, storing like um, ratchet straps and such in here for the bikes. Um, so let's go ahead and put that back down. So plenty of space in the back. Um, I originally looked at the extended cab and I decided that I needed more room in the back, especially for uh, passengers and such. So this is the driver's seat right here. And you'll see with the XLT, you get the bigger monitor. Everything's touchscreen. Um, very sleek and very nice. It's not like overwhelmingly um, fancy or anything like that. But uh, we'll get in it and drive in a little bit and you'll be able to see um, what exactly this does. So the inside, the lighting, um, your mirrors, all your controls, everything's electronic, sync, wireless, Bluetooth. So you get a little storage space right here that I like. I have yet to even use this. So this is the interior. Um, so just do a little walk around the outside real quick so I love the look of this truck I originally liked these trucks a lot when they first came out and I think I the way I saw them was they were so much bigger than the old Ford Rangers which I love the old Ford Rangers I had three of them um, and when I saw this I felt like it was really large compared to my old Ford Ranger um, so once I actually got to see one in person and got to actually get inside one, I really fell in love with it. I like the sport package. It allows it to be a little bit more aggressive looking. Um, I wanted to do a video on it completely stock because I already have some mods coming for it and I want you to see what it looks like. This is, I haven't done anything to this truck whatsoever. So the color by the way is cactus gray. They just came out with this color in 2021. So, Obviously I have the Super Crew and that comes with a five foot bed, which I'll be doing a drop in liner. All this stuff in the back is stuff that was inside the car that I took out just so you could see the truck. So like I said, very spacious. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood. All right, so it is an inline four, 2.3 liter, EcoBoost turbo four cylinder. So this puts out 310 foot pounds of torque and it also puts out 270 horsepower stock. So for the four cylinder realm of trucks, this right here, I'm not trying to be biased or anything, but these trucks right here are putting out impressive, impressive numbers compared to all other four cylinder trucks. Even some V6s, this thing is matching the power output. So let's go ahead and hop in it. 
All right, so real quick, I want to show you guys this right here. This is pretty cool. It's a little app. So anywhere in the US, I can use this app to start my truck, as you just heard. So that, obviously when you start it, it locks, but that is a cool feature. I think it's pretty neat. You obviously still have to have the key to turn it on. Hey, hey. What's up? So here we go. I'll turn the radio down just so you can actually hear me. And the truck. So we have 198 miles on this truck right now. We did a little, our first little voyage with the mini bikes yesterday, the Z125s. We went up to uh, the mini bike track and road, so that was fun. And uh, obviously performed flawlessly. Um, so one of the reasons I, so we've been looking for a mid-sized truck for a little while now because Heather has a V8 Ram 1500 that is a little bit overkill for hauling a couple bikes. Obviously she used to haul her um, horse with it a lot, um, but for what we need right now, we need something like that can tow like three to 4,000 pounds um, is about our max load um, for the time being. And uh, this truck actually tows, the tow capacity on this truck with the hitch installed, which will be installed later on mine, um, it was thrown in with the deal, but I just have to have it um, installed. So th with the tow hitch, you're looking at 7,500 pounds, uh, which is very, very impressive for a four-cylinder truck. Obviously it's turbo, but it's still a four-cylinder truck. So other trucks that I looked at was, I looked at the, four, the, um, the Nissan Frontier, Heather was not a fan of. Too small. She thinks it's I don't too like small. small truck to the record. Yeah, so this is just right. I think this truck honestly is like very it's compact, but it's very spacious still. It's very open. Mm -hmm. um, it's the right amount of room for a couple. Yeah, in a family, it would be a little small. Yeah, if you had a bunch of kids, maybe one kid, two kids, but small young children. Yeah, yeah. So we looked at um, the Nissan Frontier, which obviously only comes in uh, for our tow capacity. I would need a V6 in that. Um, and those just, they haven't been updated in a really long time and I wasn't really that stoked on the power output for those. Um, I think those are putting out around, don't quote me on this, but I think they're putting out around 300 horsepower and that's for a V6. So, and that's a 4.0, it's the gas mileage is a lot worse than this car this truck um so this truck is rated at 21 to 26 miles per gallon on our trip yesterday we averaged about 23 and that was some highway and some city um but i told her in the beginning if i could get even 20 miles per gallon in a truck i would be super stoked so being that i'm gonna be able to get 20 plus i'm very happy with that my insurance because of all the uh safety features of this truck my insurance only went up eight dollars a month from a basically a nine-year-old car that i was driving uh which is pretty pretty um happy with that um so the nissan frontier was a contender the Toyota Tacoma was probably my second favorite. Like it was between a Toyota Tacoma and this truck, most likely. So I started looking at the numbers. The Toyota Tacoma four cylinder puts out 160 horsepower, which is 110 horsepower less than this truck puts out. Obviously it's not a turbo or anything like that, but you're not gonna save any money going with the Toyota Tacoma four cylinder. And also the tow capacity of those is it's about half of what the tow capacity of this truck is. Um, so, like I said, I really only need to tow about 3,000, 4,000 pounds. We got a mail truck we gotta look out for. <laughs> so I really only need to tow about 3,000, 4,000 pounds, but we don't know, like later on down the road, what if we get a bigger trailer? What if we have more bikes to tow? What if we have more horses to tow? Exactly, so we wanna be able to safely tow, you know, roughly 6,000 pounds eventually. Um, but this truck is gonna be well capable of that. I've seen videos of people pulling upwards of 8,000 pounds, which I don't recommend going over the tow capacity of it, but I've seen people doing it, pulling 8,000 pound 
RVs down the highway doing 80 miles an hour, no problem whatsoever. So, can you hear the turbo a little bit? <laughs> so the zero to 60 on this is about the same as the Toyota Tacoma V6. Um, so honestly, like power performance and everything, you're looking at about the same. The Toyota Tacoma V6 puts out about 280 horsepower, which is a little bit more than this one, but you're looking at a V6 versus a, a four cylinder. Um, and that one is obviously not turboed. Um, I really love, I'm not gonna lie, I really love the look of the Tacomas, um, but the more and more I looked at the Rangers, the more and more I fell in love with it. And I originally was going to go look at a blue one, and once I got there, I saw this one also, and just so happened that everything worked out that it wasn't, it was like one of the only trucks there that didn't have a deposit on it because trucks are hard to find right now. Um, new ones, brand new ones anyway, 2021s. Um, so yeah, so I was very lucky. Once I saw the Cactus Gray, I fell in love with it because I thought it was very unique. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Tacoma's uh, desert sand color that they have. I'm not sure exactly what that color is called, but I think it's something like that. It's like a flat dark earth color. Um, so once I saw the color, how unique it was, I fell in love with it. Um, so this color is only in 2021. Um, as far as I know, I don't think they're making any other vehicles in this specific color. I think they're making a Bronco that's a very similar color, but it's not the exact same color. So ultimately the tow capacity, the horsepower, the torque, torque is major, um, especially when towing. Um, so all of those factors, the gas mileage, the insurance, um, all of those factors combined is what really led me to go with a Ford Ranger and obviously I've owned three Ford Rangers in the past and I've always had really good luck with them um, obviously none of those were turbo because those were like early 2000 models before they went away for a few years um, but I was always very happy with it I bought one of my um, Ford uh, Rangers it was an XLT um, four-cylinder I bought it with 40,000 miles on it and I drove it till it had 230,000 miles on it and I sold it. It was still running when I sold it. It was a really good truck. It was probably my favorite truck or vehicle I've ever owned um, since I've been driving. This one might take the cake though. <laughs> all right guys, so Heather just went into the store. I wanted to wrap the video up. Um, like I said, all of those things combined is what really drove me to buy this Ford Ranger. I wasn't going to buy brand new, but it just so happened that the way things worked out, I just got a better deal buying brand new. I got a very low interest rate. I was very happy. Um, if you're curious of where I got it, if you're living in Florida, I got it from Parks Ford in Wesley Chapel. Um, very awesome people up there. Tanner is the guy I dealt with. Um, I also dealt with the finance manager, um, the owner, I met the owner, really nice people. Um, I really can't say anything better about them. So thanks for watching guys. I know a lot of my videos are more so like motorcycle related, um, but if any of you are curious about this Ford Ranger, I'm gonna be doing a couple like mod videos, possibly some reviews later on down the road. So if you are into that, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll talk to you later, all right? Peace and ride safe.